Hey, this is Jackie, and I am here today to do a show and tell on a wig that I made. Um, and the company that I got the hair from is called Finger Comer. Um, I made this wig, this wig a while ago. I have lots of wigs, if you guys don't know, that I make. And sometimes I forget about a lot of them. I put them in my special place in my room, and that's where it stays. But today, I was rumbling through some of my things, and there I found this. And I'm really upset with myself because I could have been wearing this wig. I did have to do some adjustments to it. And things of that nature but all in all I had this hair and actually forgot about it um, the company is finger comber and the hair is the kinky uh, comber the hair that is on the track I ordered this hair um, a couple of months ago made the wig um, planned on wearing it and got wrapped up in one of my other curly wigs and actually forgot it I really like the hair. Um, today I had to adjust it and that made me like it even more. Because when I found it, it was sort of on the kinky side. It looked a lot like my own texture of hair. And I believe that's one of the reasons why I purchased it. Um, the curls are like ringlets and I believe that they say that texture of hair is good for 3A to 4C. Um, now when I originally pulled it out, this is this is some of the hair that's left from the hair okay it's not very long so your wig won't come out super long but it comes a decent length for me this is the actual hair this is the texture of the hair okay give you some idea of what it's like see how we get these little kinky balls at the end of course um but this looks a lot like my hair this is more like a corkscrewy kind of curl what I did was wet the wig down piece by piece by piece not one well, more like section by section okay and when I did that it gave me a beautiful kind of curl almost in the mind of human hair I mean it looks very very natural okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the wig on I left out some of my hair in the front and I'm just going to blend it in a little um, and see how it works. I haven't, I tried it on, but I didn't like blend my hair with it. So we're going to see. You're going to go with this process with me like I did. But the hair is $38 a bundle. You get quite a bit. This isn't even a half a bag. Okay. And this is what I had left. Okay. I mean, you get a lot of hair. I wouldn't say that one bundle or one package for $38 would do your whole hair, but you definitely don't need no more than two bundles of this hair because it is very full as well. If you are a sister like myself that like diva hair, this is definitely diva hair. Um, if you don't want it too full, then just put maybe a bag and, you know, a bundle and a half in there, wet it down. Um, if I would say any product that I would use on it, I would probably use... Um, Shea Moisture uh, Cream Enhancer, and I wouldn't use a lot of that. Just, you know, if I was trying to keep it in place or I was looking for a little shine, then that's probably all I would put on this hair. Um, but just this far, I haven't put anything on the hair. Uh, I basically just wet it down, ran my fingers through the hair, um, and it gave me a really nice curl. So, let me show you what it looks like. This is it right here, people. I mean, this is like so cute to me. Okay? This is it right here. This is how it looks in the back. Okay? Excuse my lighting. It is nighttime, so. And what I had originally done with this, I believe I put some twist up in here, too. Just in a couple places just to see how nice it would look with twist. And it actually looks pretty good. And I took some of the twist down, but the ones in the back... I left some of those, you know, where it just gave it like a coil kind of look back there. But yeah, this is it right here. And this is the front of it. This is the top. I just took it around in a circle. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to take this off of here. See, I don't have any hair. There's no closure. This is all this hair. That's all it is. Okay. Um. So what I'm, we're going to do is take this off of the mannequin. I'm going to, this is all my hair that I'm leaving out. Some around my sides. Okay. All I'm going to do, well, all I'm going to use is this brush. Okay. Paddle brush. I'm going to put a little gel around my edges.
okay little echo style gel and then I'm gonna spray some water on it so let's do that first I was actually looking at YouTube last night and I was like you know what I think I got some some wigs that I have not uh, you know been wearing and I said I'm gonna go through them tomorrow and if I do I'm gonna see this is my natural curl right here okay um i'm going to i figured that i would see what i had and if i had any froze because that's definitely what i like majority of the time that's what i'm buying is afro hair or i'm buying um really curly hair but i really really love the afro hair because my hair as i told you a hundred times is so soft I can't get it to be styled the way that I want it styled. All right, so this is the inside of it. It's just a black cap. I don't think you can see that good into it, but it's just your basic black cap, cap, weaving cap. So we're gonna put it on my head. And with this one, I'm probably gonna have to pin it down. You know, not today, but when I wear it, I'm gonna have to pin it down because it's very loose on my head so okay so this is it right here okay as you can see I got my hair out right here in the front and what I'm gonna do put a little gel around my edges not that much just right here I'm not going to put too much in the middle because my hair is so fine that it'll probably show the weft. Okay. And what I'm going to do, take some of that hair and sort of just blend it in with mine. Sort of do this kind of thing too because my hair is growing out pretty good. Okay. can't really see that well let me enlarge the screen but um I gotta excuse my lighting for this probably gonna split it like that I'm in my room I should have went into the bathroom with this but anyway yeah I probably will take it and blend it in such like this. This is a really, really cute wig. Um, this hair, I don't think you can see it that good on here, but I am going to take pictures and post them at the end. But the hair is absolutely, like, gorgeous. I mean, the curl on here, it's no joke, you know? I could actually just do this to my hair, and it would just blend right on in with it. To be honest, I don't have to do anything special to it. I could just do that. Actually, just put a little bit more on my sides or whatever. And, um, yeah, put it back up a little bit. Now, if I didn't want all the height at the top, what I would do is just spray it with some water. 
Now I'm going to show you what happens when you spray it with that water. I don't know if you can really see it that good on here. But trust me, it is so like, see how it minimizes it? It's just like, honey, this is like beautiful natural hair. You know, absolutely gorgeous. Now, and what I would do on this side, the same thing. Spray it with some water. Just so I wouldn't have to deal with the height too much. Because it is really full right now. And then I would deal with the height after it dries. But, yeah. I am going to post some pictures at the end of how it looks. You know, you could probably see it better and it gives you some idea. Um... Of what to look forward to. I'm gonna just brush out a little of my own hair. Brush it back. Okay. Put it down. And there you have it. I mean, this hair, I mean, if you're a natural person that got really, like, my hair is, like, really, it's coily, but it's not, it's more of a, like, a really nice, tight kind of curl. Not a, like, kinky, kinky kind of curl. So, this would go good with that. Um, even if I wanted to just wear it off my face, if the wind blew or something, as you can see, nothing. I mean, you wouldn't see anything. I hate you guys can't see it that good with this camera, but... You know, this is like really cute. And I don't think anybody would think that this was not my hair. I really love the length of it because I like my um, afros to at least hit me right at my shoulders. You know, that was one of the problems that I had with the uh, finger comber wig. Very cute wig, but it just was not long enough. And um, I've been trying to find a very natural kind of look in between because I don't always want to wear the the you know Latino Indian kind of look Brazilian girl you know soft curls or tight curls but they actually look like you know I'm Brazilian or something um, I might not always want to wear that I might just want to wear something as close as possible to my own hair and I have looked high and low for some human hair that's close to mine and I really just cannot find it you know, I'm not going to lie, I just can't find the type of curl pattern that I think matches mine completely. But this one looks just like my hair. I mean, it looks just like my hair. So I could wear it like this, or I could wear it with bangs. Let's see how it looks with bangs, guys. Let's break it down with bangs. You know? That's cute. See? Still sexy, still cute. Spoof it up a little bit in the middle. And that's cute. See what I'm saying? The bangs aren't too full. They're just right. So, you guys tell me what you think. Does it match my hair? Is this some hair that you guys would purchase? I mean, I really hate that you can't really see it today um, on my camera. I'm really upset about that. But like I said, I will post some pictures at the end so you can get a clear view of what this hair really looks like. But um, I love it. Absolutely love it. So, anyway, I'll post the pictures. You guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, once again, this is the uh, Kinky Comer hair from Finger Comer. Uh, dot com. It costs thirty eight uh, dollars a bundle. I have in my head at this time two bundles of hair. Um, it's on a weaving cap. Uh, this is good for four A to I mean three A to four C hair. You can actually t probably put this in some twist. Do a nice twist out. You could probably do some bantu knots on it because the hair is very stringy. Well, springy. Let's put it like that. I mean, you know, you pull it out, that's pretty long, okay? So there is a lot of things you can do. This is some uh, wig that, you know, you don't have to leave a lot of your hair out. But, you know, you want to leave a little bit, that's great too. 
Um, it's a good purchase, I would say. And to me, to get this kind of curl, this kind of look just from some water, I didn't, like I said, I haven't put anything on this hair. No kind of curl enhancer, anything. I just basically wet it down and finger combed it myself. Not too much, but I finger combed it pretty good. And then um, I put a lot of it on there, a lot of water with my spray bottle. And then I let it sit there for it doesn't take long to dry either. Um, and this is how it came out. Absolutely gorgeous. So anyway, guys, you um, finger up or down for these suckers. And let me know what you think. And I will post some pictures at the end. Thanks so much for watching. Ciao.